They, uh, they said, Ya Rasulullah, the rich people have beaten us. They've got lots of money, they give it in sadaqah. They've got lots of resources, they use it in goodness. And they pray and they fast, they're going to go to Jannah before us. And we're poor, we've got no money. What can we do to beat them? We can't even give what they give. He said, oof, there are so many resources in life you can still use. When you say subhanAllah, when you say alhamdulillah, when you make du'a, when you move an obstacle off the road, when you sweep something off so people don't get harmed, when you feed, yeah, I'm just adding, feeding a dog, feeding a cat, looking after, all these are sadaqah. He said, even your intimacy with your own spouse in bed is an act of goodness. I'm not going to say the word sadaqah, everyone thinks, because sadaqah is literally translated as charity. <laughs> Even being with your spouse is a charity. Some people will say, come on, man. Who's giving a charity here? Brothers and sisters, just listen. Stay with me. Stay with me. The point is, <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is, sadaqa does not only mean charity. Sadaqa means acts of goodness. So giving from yourself, receiving, giving, receiving, exchanging the love, exchanging the intimacy. He says, even your intimacy with your spouse is an act of goodness that Allah rewards you for. They say, Ya Rasulullah. They got shy, enjoying ourselves in our temptation and our lusts and desires. We get rewarded for it. He said, yes. Because what if you used your intimacy in haram? Would you not get sins? They said, yes. He said, the fact that you prevented it from haram and went for the halal, you get rewarded for it.